Good everyone, it's Angela Ramora here. I'm your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo bringing you another vlog. And today I'm talking about this, how to invest $50,000. Let's get it started. Okay, so you wouldn't believe how many investors I've spoken to over the last five years since I've uh, been running my company here in Toledo, Ohio. And a lot of them have $50,000 to invest. I don't know why, it's just like this magical number. I guess everyone <laughs> goes out, they work hard, they live frugally, and then they save $50,000, and then they wanna start investing in real estate. And look, I think that is fantastic. Um, I think that all of you, you folks, are absolute troopers for saving that much money. Um, and I also think that it's a great um, amount to get started with real estate investing. Um, you've proved to yourself that you can work hard, that you can live frugally, that you can save, and of course, you've got aspirations, desires, dreams of financial freedom or you know, making a lot of money in real estate and, and hopefully using that money to, to help out your loved ones and, and, a, and a bigger and better course. Um, now, here's the deal. All of you that have 50 grand and that want to buy turnkey properties or that want to buy buy and hold properties, um, I am not a fan of that. Um, simple as that, guys. I'm really not a fan of it because I feel that you are going to tie up every last penny that you have in a certain amount of real estate that is not going to produce the result that you need to live the life that you wanna be living. Um, things are getting very expensive these days. Um, there's a lot of, uh, um, there's a big gap uh, with um, very wealthy individuals and very poor individuals. Middle America is disappearing. I'm sure you've seen it plastered all over the news. So, you know, I've read a lot of articles out there where people that have millions of dollars in their bank account don't consider themselves rich because their uh, uh, cost of living is high. They probably live in very expensive uh, properties that have high property taxes or high, high uh, condo association fees or whatever it may be. Um, so, you know, times have changed. Uh, uh, all in all, guys, I don't feel that taking $50,000 and using leverage to go and buy two, three, four, five turnkey properties um, with debt on every single property is going to give you the cash flow that you need to make a significant dent on your monthly lifestyle, on your monthly income. I also don't believe that taking $50,000 and just buying one property with cash is really going to get you to where you need to be. All good things take time, okay? Money makes money. Um, I'm just finishing a book now where I'm talking about a lot of these things, so there's a shameless little plug. Um, I don't believe in something for nothing. I don't believe in using, borrowing a lot of money, you know, leveraging out of the ass, especially when you don't know what you're doing when you're first starting out, guys. Using leverage should be for experienced investors. Using leverage should be for investors that understand uh, uh, what expenses come with owning investment properties. And you're not gonna understand those expenses until you've been in the game for two, three, four, or five years. Furnace screws up, hot water heater blows out, tenant vandalizes the property. A lot of you guys don't know these things. And I'm telling you, if you don't think it's gonna happen to you, Uncle Dingo here, well, the real estate dingo, your favorite Aussie, is telling you that it will happen to you. Always underestimate your income, overestimate your expenses, something that I've been saying for a very long time, and always base your investment decisions on a worst case scenario, okay? With that said, if you only have $50,000 to your name and you wanna go all in and park every single penny in an investment property, um, and you don't have any reserves set aside for any catastrophe that can, God forbid, happen to you and your loved ones in, in, in your family or whatever, I, I don't think you should do it. Guys, don't invest what you can't comfortably afford to lose. Let me repeat that. Don't invest what you can't comfortably afford to lose. Okay, always have enough money set aside for any emergency. Please, you have to look after yourself, you have to look after your loved ones. Forget about real estate, okay? Now, now we got that out of the way. You got 50 grand, what do you do? This is what you do, guys. 
you take that money and you move to the Midwest, okay? I'm sorry, there's no other way that I know of. I did it, I went from Australia to bloody Toledo, Ohio, okay? And I've made millions here. I suggest you do something similar to that. Find a market, find your niche, um, pack up your family if that's what you have to do. Nothing comes easy in life, guys. It all, it's all gonna take a, a lot of work, a lot of sacrifice, and it's not gonna happen overnight, okay? You can take $50,000. You can find some amazing properties in the Midwest. Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, Illinois, Kansas, Missouri, Wisconsin. Guys, there are some amazing B-class properties, even A-class properties, that you could purchase distressed via auction for twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. Put ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 in rehab. Do the work yourself. Project manage the job. And I'm telling you, you could probably sell it for a hundred plus thousand dollars. You can make a great profit on the deal. And then you can rinse and repeat. Um, do it over and over again. The more deals that you can do, the more money you will accumulate. Um, so guys, you know, the deals are out there, especially in the Midwest. People still want to live here. People, kids still go to school here. There's jobs here. I mean, this is the market to be. All of you East Coast and West Coast folks, personally, I would not be investing half a million dollars to make 50 grand. That's too much risk. I'd rather be investing 50 grand in, in a market like Toledo, Ohio to make 30 grand. Um, I think that just makes so much more sense and it's worth the sacrifice, it's worth the move. Um, guys, then once you have enough lazy capital lying around where you do not need it to continue fueling your fix and flip efforts, use that capital and tie it up in a buy and hold property, okay? Simple as that. Keep buying, fixing and flipping, money makes money accumulate as much of it as you can once you have a lazy capital lying around that you do not need for your fix and flip efforts, then park that money into an investment property. And keep parking that money until you get to the desired cash flow where you and your loved ones and, and everyone uh, around you can live the lifestyle that you guys want to live. Uh, that's my 0 0.2 Australian cents. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this vlog, guys. Um, hey, I'd love to hear from you. Um, am I right? Am I wrong? Um, what are your thoughts? Please comment below. What would you do with $50,000? Um, I'd love to hear from you. Please post below. Hey, that's it. I'm Angela Ramora. I'm your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo. Catch you in the next vlog.